currency that's backed by nothing except government promises. The word fiat is a Latin word, and it basically means currency that's circulating by force. If people have confidence in that currency, and if there's enough government force, that will enable the currency to circulate for a period of time until people lose confidence in the currency. There is no nation on this planet that currently uses uh, money. We all use currency. Uh, there will come a day when everybody knows the difference. Money is a medium of exchange, and the way it has evolved is that it's always something of intrinsic value until the modern age, when the politicians say, well, we don't need anything of intrinsic value anymore. All we need is political decree. We can say, this is money. This piece of paper is money. Now money has a new characteristic. But underneath it all, there's the same concept in place that nobody ever seems to challenge, and that is that governments have a right to declare something of, of no value to be money and you must accept it. That's really the problem, and uh, it's still the problem today. It's destroying the economies of the world. With currencies no longer backed by anything real or tangible, their value was measured only in relation to each other. And because countries with relatively weak currencies can make products cheaply, countries devalue their own currencies to make them desirable trading partners. Every paper currency measures itself against the dollar. So if the dollar goes down, the other central banks respond to that, and they try and intervene in the foreign exchange markets to ensure that the impact doesn't hit their domestic economies. What is a Ponzi scheme? A Ponzi scheme is a fraudulent investment scheme that promises high returns for investors with little or no risk. Sounds too good to be true, right? That's because it is. In a legitimate investment scheme, the money invested is used to build wealth, typically through low-risk ventures like stock or real estate portfolios. Over time, this generates enough income to pay the investor back their initial investment plus some profit. A Ponzi scheme, on the other hand, promises massive returns quickly. How does it accomplish this? Instead of using the money invested to build wealth, a Ponzi scheme simply brings in more investors to pay off the previous investors. And because these new investors have also been promised large returns, the scheme must then find an even bigger group of investors to pay them off. All the while the creators of the scheme are skimming cash from each group of investors. Because a Ponzi scheme doesn't generate any wealth itself, it must constantly bring in larger and larger groups of investors to keep functioning. Eventually, no more new investors can be found, or large numbers of previous investors all cash out at the same time, and the scheme collapses in on itself. By this time, the perpetrators of the scheme have siphoned off tremendous amounts of money for themselves, while the investors are left out of pocket and out of luck.